I want you to think about the all-consuming nature of an outside fire. You know, left unchecked, it can just begin to spread and then destroy much that's in its path. Well, in the same vein, if you have issues with anger that are left unchecked, it can spread and leave an awful lot of destruction in your primary relationships and also on the inside of yourself. Just as an untamed fire needs to come under control, so does your anger. Because when anger is left to just run in whatever kind of direction it wants, it can leave you feeling trapped by your own emotion and it certainly can suffocate other individuals who are in the path of your emotion. And that's not something that anyone is going to want in their own personal life. To that effect, I've put together this course called Breaking Free from the Anger Trap. Rather than having to feel trapped by your own emotional impulses, it is possible to break it down, understand it carefully, know why you feel the way you do, and then learn how to channel the anger in constructive ways so that it'll work for you, not against you. Not only will we talk about the different forms that anger can take on, such as uh, passive aggressiveness or suppression or open aggression or assertiveness, we're going to be talking about some of the other emotional and internal elements that can push it along. Your egotism, your fears, your sense of insecurity, and those kinds of things. Keep in mind that even when anger is mismanaged, you still probably have some form of uh, conviction or need that needs to be understood by other individuals, but what you don't want to do is to make them feel entrapped by your own demands. And in addition, as you manage your anger poorly, you don't want to really feel entrapped by your own insecurities and your fears or your egotism. And so through this course, you'll be able to find ways to get out of that trap and break free and live a life that has the kind of influence that you really wanted to have in your cleanest and healthiest relating styles. I think you're gonna realize that anger can actually have a healthy function. And as you learn the principles and as you live according to the instructions that are given to you, you're gonna find that along with you learning how to have dignity and respect and honor, even as you feel the emotion of anger, your influence is going to go up and others will feel free uh, to hear what you have to say and you will feel more free because you're not creating a, a feeling of imprisonment in your closest relationships. Instead, you're gonna create a sense of openness and, uh, and a fair exchange of give and take. And that's the plan that we want you to go with. In the end, you're gonna have the tools that will allow you to have the kind of influence that you're wanting in your life so that your anger is gonna work for you and not against you. So let's get going.